Cascador 2025.3 is here, and it is packed with goodies for animators. So, Nikki's latest update to their AI-assisted animation software brings some interesting improvements. Without further ado, let's see what this is all about. One of the first things you will notice is the shiny new viewport. Cascador now uses Filament, which is Google's open-source physically-based renderer, to display your scene. This means the editor window can now show realistic lighting, shadows, and material effects, which is a big step up from the old flat look. In practice, your character previews will be lit by HDR environments and show proper PBR materials, things like accurate reflections and textures. So what you see when animating is much closer to the final render. It is still an experimental feature, but it is already a game changer for visual feedback. Essentially, Cascador's viewport now feels a bit more like a game engine, which is a good thing, even though it is not incredibly essential. Another standout improvement is the AI assisted in betweening because it just got smarter. You see, previously the AI in betweening tool was a separate gadget, and now it is built into the normal animation workflow. But what does that mean? Well, you can mix and match AI-driven interpolation with your manual keyframes on a per-track basis, meaning you could let the AI fill in smooth motion for, say, an arm swing while you hand animate the rest of the character. This selective application makes the feature way more flexible, I mean for real-world cases. Plus, the developers made it update automatically, so if you add or tweak keyframes, the AI in between adjusts it without forcing you to reset anything. This means no redoing in-betweens every time you make a change, because the system intelligently keeps up, which saves you time and keeps your work uninterrupted. For those animated animals or non-humanoid characters, Cascador now speaks quadrupat. This version introduced experimental support for four-legged bricks. The Quick Rigging tool has a new quadrupat tab, which is geared towards creatures like cats and dogs, making it easy to set up and pose your furry characters. This is actually still an alpha feature, but it is a huge step forward for animators who work on pets, wildlife, or maybe fantastical beasts. Even better, if you are a pro subscriber, you can use Cascador's auto-posing or quadrupats now. This means the AI posing assistant which was a lifesaver for quickly blocking out human poses, can now handle your four-legged friends too. So you just adjust a few controls and let the AI find a natural full-body pose. It is a friendly new capability that opens the door for animated creatures with far less manual trial and error. Rigging aficionados also got some love in this update. The quick rigging tool now supports twists and untwist bones. In non-technical terms, you can add special twist joints or limbs, which help characters for arms or maybe calves twist more naturally, without weird deformations. So if you've ever rigged a character's arm and struggled with the wrist and shoulder skinning, this feature will make that much easier. On the physics side, the red doll system gains angle constraints, so you can limit how far joints can be blent during physics simulations, which means no more noodle limbs flailing beyond anatomical limits. As you can see, these changes make it easier to create stable and realistic motion when using physics. On top of that, this update comes with a bunch of smaller workflow enhancements too. For example, I can mention the new context menu on the timeline for quick access to interpolate settings and keyframe tweaks, in addition to improved performance, especially for longer animations, and even better import and export options. They've also polished up camera controls, so now, you can import and export cameras via FBX and copy and paste camera settings more reliably. Hack, they even fixed some quirks with 3D mouse devices. So if you animate with a space mouse or something similar, your navigation should feel smoother. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.